Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. This is part two of our videos on sampling plants. In this part two, we will discuss sampling plants for attributes. Acceptance sampling plants part two. In this video, we will see how to select a sampling plant for attributes data for a given AQL and lot size using standards such as NCASQZ 1.4, MIL standard 105E, IS2500 part 1 etc. We will also see how to construct an operating characteristic curve for a given sampling plan using Excel. And finally, we will illustrate how to use Minitab software to generate desired sampling plan for attributes. This video is created using the following references. MIL standard 105E, which is probably one of the oldest standards on sampling plans. And CANSI ASQZ 1.4 which is mostly derived from the MIL standard 105E. ISO 2959-1 and Indian standard 2500 part 1. Actually IS2500 part 1 is same as ISO 2959-1. We recommend viewers to refer to the original standards as this video is made for conceptual understanding of the sampling procedures and not to explain the requirements of particular standards. But most of the standards have similar requirements and the switching procedures differ slightly but still predominantly uh, very similar to MIL standard 105E. The standards are subject to revisions and therefore viewers should refer to the current version of the standards they wish to follow. Acceptance sampling plans are of two types for attributes data and for variables data. This obviously depends on the type of data that uh, you are using for measurements or acceptance. In this video, we will discuss plans for attribute data. Acceptance sampling plans can be single sampling, double sampling or multiple sampling plans depending on how many samples you are taking. In single sampling plans, we are taking decisions based on a single sample as the name suggests. In double sampling, you have two samples based on which you take decisions and in multiple sampling, you can take decision based on multiple samples. As you increase the number of samples, the sampling plans can become little complicated to execute. Therefore, single sampling plans are most commonly used because of the simplicity of usage. For each type of sampling plan, there can be three levels of inspection. Normal, used at the start of inspection activity. Tightened, when the vendor's recent quality level has deteriorated. And reduced sampling plans, when vendor's quality history has been exceptionally good. Now let us look at switching rules in sampling plants. We start with normal inspection. If two out of five or fewer consecutive lots are not accepted, we switch to tightened inspection. If five consecutive lots are accepted, we again go back to normal inspection from tightened. If consecutive 10 lots are acceptable, and other specified conditions in the standards are met, we switch to reduced inspection. If lot is not accepted or production is irregular or some other conditions warrant, we switch back to normal inspection. When there is tightened inspection, if five lots are not accepted, while on Titan inspection, we discontinue inspection and take corrective action with the supplier. And when supplier improves quality, we can go back to Titan inspection and again 
the other switching procedures would apply. Note, this is only to explain the logic of switching. Please refer to the original standard for more specific details. ISO 2859-1 and IS2500 Part 1 use switching score concept for normal to reduce inspection, while as Mill Handbook 105 and NC standard does not use the switching score concept. But you can refer to the original standards. Steps to select the sampling plants. Decide AQL and choice of sampling plan. Single, double or multiple sampling. Choose from these. Double and multiple sampling plans can be somewhat difficult to understand and implement. Based on lot size, choose sample Let size now code letter. the procedure with an example. Default Consider inspection level is lot 2. Of 1, bolts Use level line. 1. If we want less discrimination is required for and level 3 using more discrimination is required. Additional special levels S1, S2, and S3, S4 if are AQL also available, is 1%. but these are to be used when higher risks can be tolerated. Based on sample size code and AQL, choose sample size and accept reject numbers. We will illustrate this with an example. Let us now understand the procedure with an example. Consider that we have received a lot of 1000 bolts from a supplier. We want to determine sampling plan for inspection of threading using go not go gauge. What is the appropriate sample size and acceptance number if AQL is 1%? Go and not go inspection will generate attributes data and therefore sampling plans for attributes will be used. The lot size is given as 1000 and the AQL is given as 1%. So we can now select appropriate sample size code letter from the standard that we want to use. Here I am showing an illustration of MIL standard 105E, but similar tables exist in all other standards. The default inspection level is 2. So we select the appropriate column and row and note that the sample code letter for lot size of 1000 level 2 inspection is J. Now we use master table for single sampling plan for normal inspection. Similar tables exist for reduced and tighten inspection. In the top row, AQL is specified and we select the column corresponding to 1% AQL and then we select row corresponding to sample code letter J. For sample code letter of J, sample size is specified as 80, accept number is 2 and reject number is 3. Thus, we should sample 80 pieces. If 2 or fewer are defective, accept the lot. If 3 or more are defective, reject the lot. MIL standard 105E and all other standards provide operating characteristic curves for various sampling plans for different AQL values. So this one is for sample size code letter J. You can see the operating characteristic curves for various AQL levels. Below that, tables are also provided for various probabilities of acceptance for various defect levels and for different AQL values. Of course, we can generate the operating characteristic curves on Microsoft Excel also. But we have to appreciate the efforts required to create these kind of sampling plans when computers and computer programs were not available. In part one of this video, we have shown how to create operating characteristics for a given sampling plan. We will use the same Excel template to create operating characteristic for this particular sampling plan. As you know, the lot size is 1000. So we enter 1000 at lot size. Sample size was 80 for code letter J. Accept number was 2. AQL was 1% and RQL was seen from the table as 6.52. So we put that and you can see 
actually you can determine the EQL and RQL from the table also. So for percent defective of 1%, you can see that probability of acceptance is 0 0.953. Uh, and that means this is this is the approximate EQL. And for, for RQL, we look at uh, a low acceptability that is beta risk, which is 0 0.1, which is approximately 0 0.095. So 6.6 .6 we see, if we make it 6.52, we will exactly see the 0.1. And at EQL also, if we put uh, 1.03, we will see exactly 0.95. So the exact EQL is 1.03 and exact RQL is 6.52 for this sampling glass. So we can mark those levels. Uh, with uh, maybe red color, the EQL we can mark with some other color. Uh, okay, we mark that. And the curve shows the operating characteristic. And you can see that at about 1% uh, EQL, the probability of acceptance is about 0.95. And for 0.1 beta risk, the RQL is about 6.5 or 6.6. .6. You can't read exactly from the graph, but you can see it from the table. And the right side curve shows the average outgoing quality uh, curve, AOQ. And you can see that the average outgoing quality limit, AOQL, is about uh, 1 point, uh, maybe 55 or about 1.6, slightly less than 1.6. You can see that here approximately. And the maximum that you see here is 1.6. Five, six. So this is approximate uh, AOQL which occurs at about 3% uh, quality level or proportion defective. We can also generate the sampling plan and the operating characteristic curve from Minitab. For that we have to choose the command stat, quality tools and acceptance sampling by attributes. Now here we have to use create sampling plans. You can also compare user defined plans, but here we will create the measurement type is go, no go or defective. The units of quality levels are percent defective, but you could also choose proportion defective in case you want to do that. Acceptable quality level here is 1% in this plan. Rejectable quality level we have to specify, but we choose 1.652 as we have determined from the operating characteristic curve. Producer's risk is 5%, that is 0 0.05. Consumer's risk beta is 0.1. Lot size we have to specify 1000. In the options, uh, use hypergeometric distribution for isolated lot. So if this was an isolated lot, we will use or we need to use hypergeometric distribution instead of the binomial distribution that we have used. We will keep it uh, unchecked because we want to use binomial distribution. And in the graphs, uh, the default selection is for all graphs. So just uh, say OK there. And we click OK to generate the sampling plan. You can see that uh, the sample size given is 80. Acceptance number is 2 here. And the operating characteristic curve is given. If you click here, you can see all the percent defective versus probability of acceptance. In the OC curve, I can add uh, additional reference lines in case I want to. So I click here and right click and add reference lines. And the Y values that I need are 0 0.95 and 0 0.1. These are the alpha and beta risks. And the X values as we know for 0.95 it is uh, 1.03 and uh, RQL is 6.52. And you can see those lines here. Minitab also shows the EOQ curve that we have seen. And you can see that the values here. And you can see that the maximum value appears at 1.574 at 2.84 lot percent defective. And then you also have average total inspection curve. If we go to session window, yeah, session window and click on the acceptance sampling plan. Minitab shows the other details. That is whatever we wanted. This is the input that we had given. 
and it has given the output as sample size 80 acceptance number 2 accept lot if defective items uh, in 80 sample less than equal to 2 otherwise reject and these are the um, this is your equal that you specified probability of acceptance is 0 0.953 probability of rejecting is 0 0.047 and AOQ and ETI average total inspection also it has given at 6.52 probability of accepting is 0.1 so that's the information that Minitab has generated and average outgoing quality limit also it has given as 1.574 it happens at 2.809 percent effective thanks for watching this video hope you found it worth watching Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos.